Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing day, that your new year is starting off powerfully and purposely, that you had an enjoyable and refreshing holiday season, time to reflect. And as we step forward in the new year, that we are doing so in a mindful and purposeful way. This is a great time as we get into the swing, we're about halfway through January to just check in and make sure that we are taking time to feel in, to reflect, be mindful and purposeful, that you are aligning with those things that matter most to you. Today, we have two amazing guests that are joining us that are experts in powerful healing journeys that they have gone on, tapping into their purpose, claiming it, and really stepping forward in powerful, purposeful, mindful, and meaningful ways. So I'm very excited to have them joining us to be sharing from their wisdom heart and expertise to support us on our journey. So you're in for a treat today. And we always feature a poet once a month, a poem. And today's poem is Reverberate by Sam Yao. I always like to let you know where you can find more of his poetry at samyaopoetry.com. And that's Y A U. So Sam Yao Poetry.com to enjoy his wide range of be- beautiful poems. But I thought this poem today would help set the stage for us to just take a moment to pause and listen and see how it speaks to you. So take take a breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. This time is for you. An opportunity be poured into, to be filled up, to take in all that serves and release what no longer does. I want you to know that each of you are a light. You are precious gems, divinely designed for such a time as this. You're absolutely needed in the world. And I hope that this poem speaks to you as we're looking at the beginning of the year and we're looking at how we're choosing to show up, how we're choosing to be and stepping into and claiming full healing and purpose and meaning in our lives. So again, the poem is Reverberate by Sam Yao. See the gem through the grime. Discover each poem a facet of my soul. Witness the sparkle. Reflect it back to me. Let me face my radiance. I am awed by your luminosity. I mirror it back to you. We embrace each other's shadow. We won't be lonely again. Time and distance freeze. Conversations and feelings pick up where they left off. Geography may keep us apart. But when we are together, it's like coming home. As light and mirror, we illuminate, reflect, inspire each other without end. Where lights reverberate, the soul sings with joy. So take a moment and just see how this poem speaks to you. And as you're doing so, I encourage you to put both hands on your heart. Close your eyes. You're absolutely safe. Take a deep breath in through your nose. All the way from the top of your head to your toes. And breathe out like you're breathing out through a straw. Becoming more and more present and still. Breathing in what serves, releasing what no longer serves, but thinking it as you release it. Beautiful. 
And as we take a moment and reflect on us coming together today, what is speaking to your heart, to your spirit? What is it that you need today to encourage you, to empower you, to shine, to move forward in a purposeful, meaningful way, to to claim that healing, to claim that meaning, to align with all you are called and want to bring forward, to being who you truly want to be. What is it you need? That you are willing to receive because you have choice. So what is it that you need and are willing to receive? Just be open and see what comes. Beautiful. So let's take another breath as we come back into the room. Eyes open, fully present. I encourage you to take a moment and write down what was laid on your heart. Let's keep it top of mind. Let's start co-creating it, interacting with it, and start to bring it forward. It's so easy to get distracted, to forget, to miss what is right in front of us. So let's take a moment and write it down so we can capture this moment. And we can keep that top of mind and glance down at it throughout our time together today so we can support you in moving forward in all the ways you are called to shine. Beautiful. We're going to go around our virtual room. And as we do so, I'm going to invite each of our guests to just share what was laid on their heart when they took a moment to stop, pause, and listen. So with that, Shelby, I'd love to start with you. What was laid on your heart? What came to my heart while hearing that poem was that pure connections with others love an entirety, and they extend beyond all time and space. Mm. Beautiful. I love that. We are all connected through time and space. (laughs) Exactly. Love it. How about you, Dawn? What was laid on your heart? What I realized is that the busyness of my life has become that grime from the beginning of the poem Mm -hmm. and that I have to every day stop and allow the light and calm in so that it can reflect back out or I won't be able to um, meet my purpose. Mm. I love that. Thank you for sharing. I think that that daily practice, how powerful that is. And then that busyness, sometimes, (laughs) you know, we can think it's always productive and great, but what a beautiful um, understanding that it can actually be some of that grime and that is slowing us down or holding back our light and shine. Uh, Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And listeners, how about you? When you took a moment to stop, pause and listen, perhaps there was something from Sam's poem that spoke to you. Perhaps there was something that that brought forward within you. Or as you slowed down, there was some additional information or reminders or insight that came forward. As we get ready to go to our first commercial break, I want to invite you to stay present. Resist that urge to step into busyness and cross things off your list. Instead, give yourself the gift of truly being present to you really listening to what is speaking to your heart and spirit. Use these next two minutes for you. Just breathe, listen, receive, and we will look forward to continuing our conversation in just two minutes. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. Explore the poetry of Sam Yao. His book of poems, Soul's Journey, is a number one international bestseller. 
Sam is a contemporary poet with a unique and highly relatable poetic style to convey the essence of spiritual truths for our time. Readers will find beauty, inspiration, and healing in his words. Get his book, Soul's Journey, today on Amazon.com or visit SamYaoPoetry.com. That's SamYaoPoetry.com. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes, that time to be still to breathe, to be, to listen. It's amazing how taking just two minutes like that can help center us, lower our stress levels, calm us down, help us bring oxygen in and create clear, beautiful thinking and space for us. Sometimes we get so busy, we don't feel like we have enough room for ourselves. So I hope that you enjoy those two minute moments. We've built them throughout the show to support you on your journey and to give you a moment to pause and process and receive everything that will serve you so you can integrate it on the cellular level. Well, welcome back. We're excited to be talking to you in January as we're looking at how to step forward powerfully and purposely, fully claim our healing and meaning in life and move forward in full alignment of who we are, what we're called to be, and what we want to be and bring to the world. I'm very excited to introduce our first guest today. Her name is Dawn Bradford. She is a life coach, an international public speaker and presenter. She's a published author, and she shares the message of hope and healing that is possible no matter what traumas you have experienced. She is passionate about you finding hope and healing in your life. Please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful, dynamic, and heart-centered Dawn Bradford to the show. Welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. You are so welcome. We are thrilled to have you joining us, and I'm excited for the conversation that we're going to have today and all that wisdom and insight I know that you'll be sharing with us and to kind of set the stage and to have people understand a little bit more about you. I would love for you to share why. Why is this work of helping people in this way, finding hope and healing in their lives, why is that personally so important to you? When we have healed, we interact with the world in a different way. And Mm -hmm. right now, our world needs more people who have been healed. We are very angry and divisive. And a lot of that comes, that anger is coming from that fear and pain that we feel. As we become healed, we interact with our families differently, our coworkers, the world in general. And we need more of that healing 
um, and the influence of that healing all around us in our lives. Mm. Thank you for sharing. And as you were describing that, I love how you bring it to um, such a personal place and that heart by heart, life by life, us healing, we interact differently and that reflects out into the world. And it really matters how we are and how we're choosing to be. I, I love that. And you have gone on your own journey. And I'd love for you just to share a, a snapshot um, of that for people to have a little bit of an understanding of some of the credibility from which you speak. Yeah, so as a child, I was abused by a cult. Um, so there was severe physical, sexual, and mental abuse. The trauma was so severe that I buried it and had no conscious memory of it um, until I was 40 when I broke through the amnesia um, and finally understood the role that that trauma had had in my life for years, causing health mm -hmm. problems, um, even putting me in a wheelchair for a couple of years. And um, using alternative medicine, I was able to get out of the wheelchair. I am healed. It, it took a lot longer to heal the mind. I've used um, a lot of different therapies and trauma therapists um, those tools in order to help me heal um, so that I can be a better mother and um, a better person in my life and have a relationship with my husband. And that is what has now opened up my eyes to the need for this in our world and mm. understand that no matter what anyone has gone through, whatever trauma, heartache, whatever they've experienced, that it is possible to heal. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that and that you have yourself experienced the kind of healing and transformation and um, that helps you see the world a little bit differently and how you interact and what a difference it made in your life and that that can also um, create a positive, powerful difference in other people's lives. So I'm, I'm curious, you mentioned physical healing and the, the emotional, the healing in the mind, that that took quite a bit longer. Was there a, some sort of a, a moment, an aha moment that helped you um, shift in a powerful way? I was just thinking if any of this is resonating with our listeners, was, was there a moment where something shifted for you and set you on a different course. Yeah. Uh, I, there was a moment that I didn't realize at the time, but as I looked back on that, um, I understood that those abusers had their fingerprints all over my life. The mm -hmm. things I liked, the things I didn't like, my anxieties, my core belief systems. Um, and I suddenly lost that sense of health of self. And mm -hmm. I thought, wow, everything that I am was because these abusers created me to be this way. And I refused to give one more day of my life to them. Mm. I just thought that's wrong. I've been living this way for 30 years and I'm not going to do that. It was just this decision of realizing that they had shaped who I was, but that I had control to be who I wanted to be. And I realized I could be whoever I wanted. And I saw vision really of myself as this confident, strong, powerful person if I was free from the influence of my abusers. And with that clarity and that drive, I knew what I was working for and I could go through the difficulty of the healing journey. How, how powerful this moment to realize, wait a minute, you know, I, I want to shift who I am, I want to be who I'm called to be. Did you have, because I'm feeling like that, that loss of identity and how you have been for so many years, that's a big, big shift and change. Was there excitement? Was there fear that you had to work through? Was there um, a loss of like, who am I? Or was it exciting to explore? Or was it a mixture? I'm just curious. Oh, it was not exciting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was very, it stripped away everything about who I was. And that mm. is a very, very scared place to be. Mm. Um, when you realize you just have no idea who you are 
and a lot of abuse victims, they don't know who they are. They don't know even who it's possible for them to become. And that is a very vulnerable space to be in. And it's all, I, I feel like it's always scary. <laughs> okay. um, yeah. So there was a lot of yeah. fear around that. Um, but I had to keep that vision of what I wanted in order to move through that fear. And and would you call that vision a, a purpose or did you feel like purpose came a little bit later? How did that um, fit into the journey or did it for you? At the beginning, it was a different purpose because mm-hmm. the purpose that I initially had was just, I want to be healed mm-hmm. because that's mm-hmm. the first step before I can help others heal. I have to heal myself. And so the initial purpose was, I just want to be healed. I don't want to live this way any longer. And it was focused very much on the things that I didn't want in my life. As I overcame some of those things and started looking outside of me, rather than just the internal journey, that's when my purpose grew larger. Mm -hmm. And I realized that I had the ability to help others. And then my purpose became helping not only myself, but all of these people around me that cross my path who also need to know that the healing is possible because at times we get told, Oh, that's so horrible. It's not possible to to heal from that. I mean, I had someone actually tell me that you never Mm. heal from something like that. And I was like, of course you do. You know, healing is always possible and you have to have that, that belief that healing is possible and that gives you that purpose and your purpose might be just to heal. But as you go along that journey, it will open up the true purpose you have in your life. And mine just happens to be that I feel called to help others around me heal. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing and, and tying into Um, supporting our listeners today. Is there a tip that you can give um, from your experience, those who are perhaps um, looking to heal or wanting and or wanting to step forward more and more fully into living in a purposeful, meaningful, aligned way? Do you have a tip or advice to encourage them and share with them today? Uh, The biggest thing is to be open to the things that the universe will put in your path Um, and be open to looking into your own life, your past, your heart, Um, you know, what pain is there. We have to be willing to see that and deal with the fear and the vulnerability that comes with that. Um, My anxiety is there in order to help me identify a fear. And once I Mm. identify that fear, then I can identify where does the hurt come from that caused that fear. So rather than trying to push down my anxiety, I'm going, oh, this is my body telling me that there's something I need to look at here. Mm. You know, all pain has a purpose and it's to help us identify what's going on in our lives. Um, And so you have to be willing to do that inner look at what's going on and then you have to have somewhere that you want to go to Um, a some type of idea of what you want do you want to be more confident or powerful or more present in the moment and so you hold on to that you're willing to look at where you're at and then you're open to whatever comes into your path because Mm. The things that you need will come into your path. And all you have to do is be open to seeing those things. Don't brush it off, but learn what you can. It might only be a small thing. Just learn what you can, heal what you can, and then just be open for the next thing. We're all very unique and our paths to healing are unique, but those things will be around you and you will know as you're open and aware you'll know that things are coming in order to help you on your journey to healing. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that. 
powerful, powerful um, information to support us on our journey. Listeners, I hope you took some great notes and you're adding some things to your toolbox. And we're going to have a time at the end of the show where Donna will share her contact information as well as some upcoming things you can be looking forward to. And right now we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break. And as we do that, I want to invite you to really sink in to what Dawn has shared and being open, paying attention to those things that are coming into your pathway and trusting that it can help you each step of that way and that healing is possible. I love that the pain serves a purpose, that being willing to go deeper and explore and look at where we're at and where we want to go and then open to the steps to get there. So powerful. We will look forward to continuing our conversation in just two minutes. Follow us on Twitter at VoiceAmericaTRN. Get the lowdown on guests, new shows, and your favorites. That's VoiceAmericaTRN. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. It's time to serve, learn, change the world. Tune in each week for the power of young people to change the world. Hosted by NYLC CEO Amy Muirs. The program is a forum for both young people and the adults who love and support them. We make connections with others through stories of change, partnership, and new perspectives of issues facing the world today. Be sure to join us every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time and 3 p.m. Pacific Time or anytime on demand on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes and you had an opportunity to really sink in to the beautiful information and insight and sharing that Dawn um, gave us and some great ideas and directions on what to do to move forward. Some of the ways you can lean in and have that healing and alignment in your life. And I'm very excited as we continue our conversation on looking at living on purpose and in alignment and deeply and powerfully in our life to introduce our next amazing guest. Her name is Shelby Cotterman. She is a number one international best-selling author, founder of Willow Tree. She, Willow Tree focuses on helping people live meaningful deep lives with an emphasis on relationships, nature, and the inner voice. She is passionate about helping you live in a deep, 
and meaningful way. Please lean in and warmly welcome the heart-centered and empowering Shelby Cotterman to the show. Welcome! Thank you, Rebecca. You are so welcome. Excited to have you joining us. I know that you have been on our show before, and so we are just thrilled to welcome you back. And I would love to have you share a little bit for those listeners that you are new to about why this work that you do of helping people in this way, why is that personally so important to you? Personally, it's important to me to honor the love that I've received from reflection in nature and from deep relationship by sharing that with others. And each passage in my book, Seasons of the Soul, is designed to work within the heart in a way that facilitates that for others. Mm. I, I love the work you do and why you do it and that you see how deeply this can help others. Um, so thank you for leaning in and being willing to help people um, in this powerful way. And I know you have released one book and you have, and that was towards the end of last year. And you have a second book that is coming out. And I would love for you to share just a quick sentence or two about your first book. And then we'd love to understand um, about your upcoming book and what we can be looking forward to with it. Yeah. Well, my first book, Evolution of a Soul, is a true story about a young woman who overcomes trials in life through faith, deep relationships, and nature. And then with Seasons of the Soul, I'm directly working with my readers to help them experience that in their own lives and apply it to their relationship and their time outdoors and whatever needs assistance in their heart to move forward and heal. I, I love this. This to me ties back into what, what Don was saying too about how those messages and things that we need are speaking to us all, all the time. They're around us. And I love how you use nature and um, pictures and images and, and um, ways that nature speaks to you to support your listeners and, and readers and followers in really processing those messages that are there for them. Do you mind sharing a little bit about the images that you have? I know they're in, in both books, but I, I know you're using them in a very... Um, powerful and deliberate way in um, actually in both books, but in this one, there's even more <laughs> in Seasons of the Soul. Would you mind sharing a little bit of what those images and, and pictures are and how do they support the, the reader? Yeah, I got such a powerful response about my illustrations in Evolution of the Soul that mm -hmm. I need more of them so that I have an illustration or a piece of photography for each entry in the book. And mm. they say a picture is worth a thousand words, but I think it's also worth a thousand feelings. There's mm. feelings that draw forth from our hearts when we look at an image that's connected with the text that I feel like draws an even deeper meaning to the experience of reading those words. Beautiful. And, and the words that you have in Seasons of a Soul that are connecting with that picture. Do you mind describing a little bit of what, what those are about? Yeah. Well, I named it Seasons of the Soul because the processes we go through in life reflect seasons of the year. Fall is themed by change or loss. And winter, diving deep within, harnessing inner growth, digging deep. Spring is themed with revival and trying new things. And then summer is like an exaltation and celebration of all that we've grown to be and the new version of ourselves. And so each reflection is in a structure that reflects the seasons of the year, but also honors individual experiences you can have with nature in those seasons that facilitate healing at a soul level. Mm. Beautiful. I was just, as, as you were sharing, I was reflecting back on what you said about um, that a 
picture not only is worth a thousand word, but a thousand uh, words, but a thousand feelings. I love that. And that you've built the beautiful structure to flow with people throughout the year as they are looking to step forward powerfully and purposely and meaningfully in their life. I love how you've built a, a powerful book to support them on that journey and listening and feeling and receiving powerful information and insight to support them on their journey. So I'd love for you to share um, when when is it coming out so our listeners can put that on their calendar. It releases February 1st, so right around the corner. Oh, I'm so excited. So just around the corner, February 1st, please mark that on your calendars. Um, I, is it okay if I share a little bit about why that date's so special? Of course. Okay, so February 1st is especially special because that will be the release of the book. And for the first 24 to 48 hours, it's going to be available for a special rate of $1.99, which is amazing to be able to lean in and get a powerful book with pictures and images and illustrations to at that um, amazing rate. So I encourage you, those of you who like to be the first <laughs> to get things and or you love a great deal please put that date on your calendar so you can lean in we're honored and excited to get to promote and share this powerful book out in the world i've gotten to see an advanced copy of it and i know it's going to touch your heart and spirit so i hope that you lean in and take a look on february 1st and if it calls to you we'd love for you to be able to get a copy at that special rate and we'd be so honored to have your support support and helping us share it out. We want to really bring positive, powerful, transformational things, content, and impactful messages to the world. And I feel like that's part of how we all can lean in and make the world a better place. So I'm just excited, Shelby, for your, your book. I can't wait for it to be out in the world. We're looking forward to it. So I hope everybody put February 1st on their calendar. And I know that there are many things that are part of the vision and what you're bringing to the world. So the book that we just mentioned um, coming out soon is one of the exciting things that you're bringing to the world. But I'd love for you to share your overall mission and vision. You know, what is it with Willow Tree and the work that you're doing that you're wanting to bring to the world? You know what I love about that? It continues growing and expanding. I'm also mm -hmm. a Reiki healer. So mm -hmm. in the spring coming up here, I will be offering Reiki healing. And I'm also leaning into offering retreats mm -hmm. and a YouTube channel. So a lot to stay tuned for. Oh, I love that. All kinds of ways. So at the end of the show, I promise everybody will also let you know how to connect in with Shelby so you can follow her and keep track of all those amazing things that are coming out and be able to tap into connecting with her on a deeper level. Um, but I'd love to close our interview segment with a tip. Do you have a piece of advice or a tip that you can share with our listeners to help them go in deeper um, be more aligned and more on purpose using nature and those things around them as they're starting in 2022. I think it's important to give ourselves alone time with nature where we can let our minds wander and our feelings wander. And we, as we let our, and let things in, it percolates through our senses with messages that are time. Hmm. I love that. So really allowing time in nature to be and to receive um, and let our mind wander and to uh, receive everything that is being shared with us and coming to us. I love that. And is there anything in particular that um, while we're being and receiving that would help us capture those insights or feelings that could come by spending time in nature? I think, well, for me, it's important to always have a song or a pad of paper with me because mm -hmm. when I have a new thought or a realization, when I'm, I'm having insights in nature, 
I think, oh, I'll remember that. But you won't necessarily. You've got to have something to write it down and really reflect on it later and think, all right, what? how can I apply this to my life and my relationships? Because that's where it gives us the power to grow. Beautiful. I love that. So having a way to capture that experience. And I love that idea of having a pad because you could draw, you could sketch, you could write, whatever it is that is coming. Um, and there's something really powerful about using our our hand to write. I mean, it can connect us directly with our heart. And I think there's some really great insights that come that way too. And it's experiential. So I love that brilliant tip. Thank you so much, Shelby. I appreciate it. Thank and you. Absolutely. And listeners, we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break. So I'm going to encourage you to take a couple of moments to really take in all that Shelby has shared with us and see what insights are percolating up. And maybe a step you can take is to get a notepad or a small um, pad of paper that you can carry with you and maybe looking at a way today you can step outside of nature, even if it's for just a few minutes, giving you time for you. So we'll look forward to continuing our conversation in just two minutes. America is on your favorite smart speaker. If you have Alexa or Google Home, go ahead and give us a try. Hey Alexa, play Finding Your Frequency podcast on TuneIn. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. You need to live up to your full potential. You've heard that for years, but now there's a channel to help you get there. Introducing the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Our listeners have told us that they want to be motivated, hear about success stories, and positive encouragement around the clock. And we've responded to you. The Voice America Empowerment Channel is the home of the world's top life coaches, entrepreneurs, and success experts. Listen to the Voice America Empowerment Channel. It's here at voiceamericaempowerment.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Find out what makes the most successful people tick. Keep listening to the Voice America Empowerment Channel. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes just for you. Excited to... Um, be looking ahead at all that 2022 is going to bring to you and in your life. I know for me, I feel this great feeling of excitement, but also a growing deeper of my roots. So it's kind of this roots and wing feel (laughs) that I have. And so I have great excitement about all that is coming. And I hope that you feel that. And 
I found the information that Dawn and Shelby have shared with us today have been very supportive and helping my roots grow a little deeper, adding some powerful things to my toolbox to lean into 2022 and beyond. And I hope you have found that as well. And one of the things I've discovered that's really important on the journey is to have support. It is not a solo journey. I don't know where the myth got started that it is. We are here together and we can go further, more deeply, meaningfully, and joyfully when we do that together and we can lean on each other's strengths and gifts. And so I wanted you to be able to have connection and access to Dawn and Shelby. I think it's really important that if you're feeling that support and you're resonating with what they're bringing to the world, I want you to be able to stay in touch and follow and connect and go deeper. So please have your paper and pens ready so you can have amazing connection and contact with these, these powerful women that are leaning into you. So with that, Don, I'd love for you to start. What is the best way for people to connect in and go deeper with you? Uh, they can visit me at my website, which is at dawnbradford.com. Mm -hmm. uh, and then on any social media, all of my handles are at S Dawn Bradford. Perfect. Oh, oh, and email. I should oh, email. You can always email me mm -hmm. at S Dawn Bradford at gmail.com. Beautiful. I know sometimes we forget email, so that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing um, how we can connect with you and go deeper. And then as, as we look ahead, are there some things that you are, well, actually I have so many questions. So let's start with where can we get your book and the title of your book? Yeah. If you want to hear more about my healing journey, that is in uh, my book called Broken No More. Mm -hmm. A True Story of Abuse, Amnesia, and Finding God's Love. And that is available on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble um, or through my website. And then um, the next book I'm co-authoring in Step Into Your Brilliant Purpose, which will be releasing on March 1st of this year. Oh, I'm so excited, honored to be part of that project as well. So two important dates <laughs> to put on the calendars, February 1st for Seasons of the Soul, March 1st for Step Into Your Brilliant Purpose. And do you mind sharing just a, a moment about that project? Uh, Step Into Your Brilliant Purpose really gives us some of those tools to go into our own healing journey and find our purpose and move forward powerfully with that. Um, we've got some amazing authors that are participating in that. And I do like that there are tips. You get to see their journey, but they've got tips for you on how you can move forward with purpose in your own life. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And for full disclosure, I'm one of the co-compilers cool of Step Into Your Brilliant Purpose. So uh, I am also very excited about this, this book. It has a really powerful energy, an amazing group of authors that were called to be part of this and part of that conversation to support us on our journey to live in a purposeful way and to how to discover that and and move forward in practical and profound ways. So I'm very proud of it and excited. And Dawn, we are so thrilled to have you as one of our amazing authors in this book. So for anyone who is excited and leaning in, please mark March 1st on your calendar. And that will also have that special rate of $1.99 for the first 24 to 48 hours. So something else to be leaning into and watching for. And then um, are there any other things coming up that you wanted to share with our listeners? I wanted to make sure we they're fully informed of all they can lean into with you. <laughs> uh, I will be starting a, a monthly newsletter uh, just with tips and information about um, about what people can do in their own lives, but mostly a lot of encouragement. We all need encouragement. So if you would like to get on that email list, then you know you can just go to my website or email me and I can get you on that list. Beautiful. And can you give us your website one more time? 
Uh huh. It's dawnbradford.com. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dawn. I appreciate it and look forward to all that you have coming forward. And that's exciting about your newsletter. That's great. Great news. Yeah. Right. And then Shelby, I'd love for you to do the same. Would you share the best way for people to connect in with you, go deeper? Yes. I put out a lot of inspiring posts on Facebook and Instagram. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn or via email, shelbycotteman at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. And I have a website, shelbycotteman.com, and that's S-H-E-L-B-Y-K-O-T-T-E-M-A-N-N. On my website, that's where you can see a lot of updates of upcoming things I'll be offering. Beautiful. And do you have a list as well that people can get on and follow and stay up to, up to date on things? Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. And, and they can find that on your website too. I was just thinking yeah. they might. Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Our listeners might be excited after hearing that opportunity um, with Dawn too. So here's two great lists that you can get on and um, powerful support on the journey. I love that. And we know about um, a little bit of what you are offering and bringing forward. You touched on that a little bit in your interview segment. So we have Seasons of the Soul coming out on February 1st, which is exciting um, that you have Reiki sessions. And anything else you want to remind us of that we can look forward to? I am so excited for the book release because I feel like it's going to facilitate so much growth in people's hearts. Reiki healing I'm going to be offering within the coming months. So that's something Mm -hmm. exciting to look forward to right away. And then I'm leaning into coaching and retreat later on this spring. And Mm -hmm. also leaning into a YouTube channel later on this year. So a lot to grow into. Oh, that's exciting, though. I love it. And an opportunity for us all to grow with you, which is which is beautiful. So thank you so much. And do you mind giving your website one more time? It's shelbycotteman.com. S-H-E-L-B-Y-K-O-T-T-E-M-A-N-N.com. I think people are going to find a lot of encouragement for living life meaningfully to the work that I do. I'm, I'm an old soul. So empathy and and depth and relationships and pure connections with nature and, and other souls is just such a meaningful way to live that I want to share with the world. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing, Shelby. I appreciate it. Um, And I know that your soul will enjoy connecting with many of our listener souls. So that's that's beautiful. And listeners, I want to thank you for leaning into this time today and this opportunity to connect deeply powerfully and purposely. I hope that you found some great tips to support you on your journey and help you um, grow those roots even deeper and grow your wings and have that great alignment as you step forward purposely, powerfully, and meaningfully in 2022 and beyond. And remember that we are here every week to connect, support, and pour into you on your journey. I want to invite you to take a couple moments at the end of the show today, before you rush back into the busy world, that you take a couple minutes just for you to breathe, center, intentionally breathe in all that serves, release what no longer does, take a glance at your paper where you wrote down what you need today, and take a moment to Receive that to acknowledge and then go back out into the world on purpose and alignment. Be who you are called to be. Be how you are called to be. And know that as you step more and more in alignment with who you are, truly your gifts, your unique way of being in the world, that is stepping forward in and on purpose. Have an amazing week, everyone. We'll look forward to talking to you next time.
Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel, with a replay on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern and 1 p.m. Pacific on the Voice America Variety Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine. Thank you.